is not random. The math doesn't add up if you try to calculate under random function if biology could have emerged. Absolutely not. And, um, you know, so, so, but that doesn't mean that the, there's some kind of religious entity. It just means that they, this feedback in, in the structure of space that makes that so information. So every point knows everything else that's going on so, so that there's information exchange so that there's possibility of complexity. We see that, for instance, in, in very specific equation, fractal equations, where we take the answer, we feed it back to the equation, we get higher and higher complexity very, very quickly. Um, and, and so it's not random in that sense. It's highly organized. It only appears random because what we see is a very small sampling of what's going on, so we don't see the pattern so well. Uh, consciousness is uh, information exchange between the field and uh, any point in space. So I proved that information um, in space creates um, boundaries, and these boundaries is what we call our reality. The exchange of information between the inside of the boundary and the outside of the boundary is what we call mass and energy. And that produces feedback in space, and feedback produces complexity. And when the complexity gets high enough, eventually the feedback of information produces the result that we call self awareness or consciousness. So, information being present at all the levels makes it so that you couldn't say that consciousness is not present at any point. The whole thing is consciousness. Information through space is what we call consciousness. It's not good enough to just say it's all consciousness because if you don't define what consciousness is, then you don't really know anything. You just started a new religion. You might have well have said it's all God, right? So this defines the mechanics of consciousness. Matter is information through the field, as I just described. So consciousness is not a thing. Consciousness, what we call consciousness, self-awareness, is the result of the mechanics of information in space which produces matter. So, of course, look, you're affecting matter right now. Billions of atoms, you know, you're affecting them. You're moving it, them through space. This, it, of course, consciousness affects matter. Consciousness is matter. They're lost because the standard model is inadequate to answer those questions. So looking for the source of consciousness in the standard model is not going to happen. The standard model of physics have to be modified, and that's what I've done, and shown a new way of describing mass, energy, fundamental principles into a way that makes it so that eventually you can come to conclude how matter function how you know life can emerge from matter and how you know eventually we can reach levels of complexity like for instance biology biology is an amazing thing 100 trillion cells in a human being made out of 100 trillion atoms each fully organized. Nothing in the standard model explains that. This new model of physics starts to explain that because it explains that matter is actually information in the field that we call space. Um, the creator is the same. I just described in these mathematics and these physics that creation matter, the world that we see, that we think as, as creation, is actually 
the result of this holographic information field that permeates everything. Someone could call that the creator, but it's not some guy sitting on a throne organizing creation. It's just not that.